Today we're talking about how to fill out LLC membership certificates. An LLC membership certificate represents your ownership of a limited liability company. Filled out properly, it gives you proof that you own the company. In addition, it shows the taxing authorities and anybody who wants to sue you that you have completed the legal requirements by properly completing your LLC formalities so that your LLC is more likely to hold up under a legal attack or tax audit. Hi, I'm the business guy, and I've been in the company formation field since 1991. Our company started in 1906. I believe we have over 80,000 clients in our database. We have attorneys on staff, and we are the nation's leading asset protection and company formation firm. And today we're talking about how to fill out LLC membership certificates. And be sure to watch all the way to the end because we cover important information that you need to know. And by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the like button below so YouTube promotes it and we can help out a lot more people. And you can also click the subscribe button so that when more videos come out like this, you'll be up to date right away. Now certificates have different formats. Sometimes the state or country where the company is formed is pre-printed on the certificates. Other times you'll need to write it in. Sometimes the number of membership units is in the upper left-hand corner, and sometimes it is a separate blank shortly after the name of the member. So just fill it out as the certificate is formatted. Okay, now let's take a closer look at some LLC membership certificates and what you do. First of all, you'll see the name is pre-printed or you'll need to fill out the name of the company. Next, you'll see the number of units. That's the number of individual units that are available that the company can issue. You'll also see a blank line that shows the name of the member. Now this can be a person, it can be another company, it can be a trust or other business entity. Then you'll see the number of units allotted to that particular person, company or trust. You'll have a place where you can fill out the date the certificate was signed. And then you'll see signature lines for the members if it is a member managed LLC or the managers if it's a manager managed LLC. Finally, in the center, you will squeeze the corporate seal or LLC seal in this section. The LLC seal is usually found in a corporate record book. Now keep in mind, this information isn't legal advice. For legal advice, speak to a licensed attorney. We have licensed attorneys on our staff if you need some help. Now, first of all, the number of units. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can either write the number of units this particular certificate represents or you can enter the percentage. The standard way is to write the number of units. I prefer for simplicity to write the percentage. So in this example, it shows that 100% of the units are owned by Pat Smith, or Pat Smith is the sole member of this particular LLC. Again, instead of the percentage, you can write the number of units. So in this example, it's 50 out of 100 units are owned by Pat Smith. Now let's say your LLC is owned inside of a trust, okay? If it's owned inside of a trust, you'll see that the name of the trust as well as the name of the trustee is included. In this example, it says ABC Trust in parentheses Cook Islands, KLM Limited, comma, trustee, owns 100% of the units of this particular limited liability company. So that's how you fill it out if a trust owns the LLC. If a trust is the member of the LLC, you need to write both the name of the trust and the name of the trustee. So you need to enter both, not just one. Now on occasion, we'll set up two LLCs to go inside of an asset protection trust because we have an IRA sub trust. So the assets that represent an IRA go in that portion of the trust, including this LLC. So if this particular LLC, for example, is owned by a sub trust, say for an IRA, it'll say IRA sub trust of ABC trust, Cook Islands, comma, KLM limited trustee. So you name the subtrust, you name the trust that subtrust is a part of, and you name the trustee. So all three. Now let's say, for example, your LLC is held directly inside of a self-directed IRA. You simply fill it out USA Trust, comma, Inc., that's the custodian, comma, custodian for IRA of Pat Smith, account number 12345. Let's say the LLC is inside of a self-directed pension plan. You fill it out USA Trust, comma, Inc., pension admin, that's the pension administrator, for Pat Smith, account number 12345. Now, sometimes you need to fill out LLC membership certificates different ways for different people. For example, let's say you're opening up a bank account in the name of the LLC. Typically, you fill out the certificate in your own name for the bank because if it was in a trust, the bank would want to see the trust, 
They may need to see ID and articles from the corporate trustee, etc. So it might be in your best interest to fill out the certificate in your own name first, and then you void that certificate and fill out another certificate with your trust slash trustee owning the company. So I hope you found this valuable and it helped you understand how to fill out LLC membership certificates. So if you want to form a U.S. or offshore LLC, feel free to give us a call at 1-954-41050 or visit assetprotectionplanners.com and fill out a free consultation form. And be sure to share this video with others and subscribe below. This is The Business Guy.